All right, welcome to Essential Style. Thursday Captain in the whiskey color with a Storm King outsole as I almost dropped the boots. Two month, three month, what is it? Two month update, about a two month, one and a half month updates. Let's talk about it. So I first got these boots and it was actually still really hot outside. So I didn't actually get a chance to wear them for well, maybe like a, for the first week or two, I just wore them around the apartment, made sure they were okay, and then I wore them outside. And that's the one thing that I've noticed about these boots is these boots do run warm. So if you're looking for a boot that you can wear in the early fall or the late spring, these boots probably aren't going to be the boots that you are gonna be reaching for, but they're not so warm that you actually can't wear them and your feet are just gonna overheat constantly. That's something I've experienced with my Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill, my first pair of Higgins Mills, the non-waterproof version. But I do appreciate that the boot does keep my feet warm. That just means that I don't have to reach for my warmer wool socks as soon as I would with some other shoes. So starting off with the things that I like, I really, really, really like the color of these boots. These boots, the color, this whiskey color is absolutely my favorite color boots that I've pretty much had and I think it's the best pair, the best color that Thursday makes. This is very similar to the Red Wing Iron Ranger color number 8111, but I will say that this you can polish up a bit. So if you took a boot like the Red Wing Iron Ranger in the 8111 and the Allen Evans Higgins Mill, which I have right over there, and you smash them together, you probably get something like this. Meaning that it does have that rugged aesthetic, but looking at it from a top-down view, it's nice and slim, right? So you're gonna be able to dress it up a lot easier. It polishes up easier, but you do have that rugged outsole, but that outsole is not too bad. It's not, it doesn't really stick out too much. I could easily dress these up almost as much as I could dress up my Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill or the Day Night Soul style Thursday boots. But that sole is a lot more comfortable than that first pair of Thursday boots I had in just the basic brown colorway. Comfort and fit. I have not had any issues with the fit of these boots with the width of them right there. I can tell that it is a bit roomy right here. I prefer the boot to be a bit more roomy right here just because your feet actually do swell if you're walking five miles or even 10 miles. Typically, the more you walk, the more your feet swell. So for a pair of boots like this, a pair of regular boots like this with a tall shaft, I'd rather have extra room over here on the toe box and then just be able to tie it tighter up here to get that nice, solid, firm grip around your foot and ankle, but still allowing your toes to expand a bit and not feel like it's actually starting to pinch your toes, your big toe and your little toe. Comfort. The comfort is there. This sole has just the right amount of cushion on the heel. It's pretty flexible. I have a pair of shoe trees in there right now just to keep the boots shape and keep it from wrinkling like crazy. But it's pretty flexible. I have had no issues. I think I walked six miles in these boots and it was like constant walking. It was walking and then standing and then walking and then standing. I did a couple of New York City vlogs wearing this boot already. And I usually put some B-roll in those vlogs of me actually wearing these boots. So once the weather has turned, instead of wearing just my Cole Haan original Grand Wingtips that I was pretty much my go-to shoe for long walks, these boots have become my go-to shoe since I wanna wear a pair of boots nowadays since it's stylish and it also keeps me a lot warmer and comfortable as well. Water resistance, I have not worn these in a downpour, but I did wear my other boots, my older Thursday boots, the brown ones with the day night sole outsole, or the day night style outsole. I did wear them in the snow. Check out a video up there. I don't, I think it's gonna be above my, above my left shoulder. So it should be up there. I did test out those Thursday boots in the snow. My feet were totally dry and they were warm. I did have to wear wool socks for that video in that weather because it was very, very, very cold. However, I would not hesitate to wear these boots in the rain. I do trust that they will actually keep my feet and socks dry. Now, something else is pretty cool about these boots. I actually did take them on a bike ride yesterday with one of my bikes. One of my bikes has a flat pedal and this outsole is actually wide enough and it's grippy enough. So I was able to just ride my bike and they gripped the pedal pretty well. And it worked out because I actually was riding on some off-road paths as well. And this outsole worked perfect for that because I was walking in dirt and walking in a little bit of mud. Whereas if I was just wearing a standard pair of Vans old schools or Vans slip-ons like I normally wear when I ride my bikes with the flat pedals, it wouldn't have been a good day if I stepped in mud. My feet would have gotten absolutely soaked and it would have been cold the rest of the time. So that is a nice added bonus of this sole. It's actually good for more than just walking. You can actually ride a bike in these soles. Nothing is perfect. There are a couple of cons with this boot. So the first con, I have to think about the break-in process or the flexibility of the overall shoe. The break-in was pretty painless, but I found that it took a little while longer 
to have this part get nice and soft and nice and broken in up here. And even to this day, the boot just feels a little bit on the stiff side. It doesn't move with your foot as you actually are walking down the street or wherever you're doing. It's flexible enough, but I could definitely tell from wearing a pair of Allen Edmonds boots, for example, those boots move with your feet a lot more and a lot sooner in the break-in process, as opposed to a pair of these boots where it does take a little while longer for them to soften up. And it's hard to describe, but the best way I can say is that every time you're walking, the boot wants to sit flat. So when you actually come and heel strike, it's going to go sit flat. And when you go like that, there's a bit of a resistance where it feels like it's a one, two, three versus just other shoes, more higher end shoes, more expensive shoes. They walk with you a bit more fluid and it just really just molds to your foot better and feels a bit more flexible. And the second con I show you on this boot is there is some loose grain creasing on the left boot. Is it a huge deal? No, it's not. But for a pair of boots, that's $200. This is not something that I'm really too concerned with. I almost expect this at this price point. It is not as bad on the right. I have two different size feet. Most people have two different size feet. My left foot is a little bit bigger than my right foot. And my right foot's a bit wider than my left foot. So I've got a long, narrow foot, and then I've also got a short, wide foot. Just a little bit, not, not that much, but enough that I could actually tell the difference. So not as big of a deal, but it is something that I absolutely noticed. Now the shoes do scuff up pretty easily. Uh, a lot of other boots like the Allen Edmund Higgins Mills scuff up pretty easily and the Red Wing Iron Rangers as well. I will say that out of the two months that I've had these or month and a half or however long I've had these, I have not conditioned them. I just took a rag and I just wiped them off. I didn't use any sort of, I didn't use water. I didn't use any sort of polish. I just wiped them off and this is how they look. So no conditioner used on these and they still look really good. They've got that nice matte shine to it. So I really enjoy that part of the boot, even though it does get scuffed up. Now, because it does get scuffed up a bit easier, it does mean you can't dress these up as much as if it didn't get scuffed up. But between the color and the outsole and the creasing of the leather, I wouldn't want to dress these up with a suit. The most I would dress them up would maybe be with a nice pair of pants, a nicer pair of jeans and a sport coat and a sweater. I wouldn't want to take it further than that. And I think most people aren't going to be wearing these with their suits anyway. But if you want to, I'm sure you can polish them up, make them look nice. And even though that outsole is lugged, it's a pretty slim lugged outsole. I'm sure no one's really going to notice. So overall verdict, Thursday Captain Whiskey Storm King. This is quickly becoming my favorite pair of boots. I can't wait till it rains or snows more in the winter. I want to do some more testing. And this boot is taking on my Echo Track Gore-Tex boot. This was the boot that I actually rode my bike in. It didn't really grip the pedals as much. This is a very, very comfortable boot. It's warm, it's breathable, it's got the Gore-Tex lining, but there's no comparison that the Thursday Captain and the whiskey color with the Storm King outsole is a lot more stylish and you can dress it up a lot more. And as a plus, it's $50 cheaper. The Echo Track Gore-Tex is 250. This one's 200 bucks. And if you want, you could actually get that sole redone once it wears out. You could probably get it done for like 60 or $70 since the shoe is actually good year welted, which means that the sole is sewn onto the upper. Whew. I gotta remember to breathe when I'm doing these videos. I get so excited. So overall, one and a half month update, Thursday Captain Whiskey Storm King. I'm absolutely loving these boots so far. They're comfortable, they're warm, and I'm sure they'll keep me dry, and they sure do keep me looking stylish. That's gonna wrap it up for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing and all that other good stuff. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope this video helped you. I hope you had fun, and I will see you next time. Bye.